the concept around the Rago Superlake was really easy. The previous season we developed the Rago and we had achieved an excellent balance of fit, thermal efficiency, comfort, quality of fabrics, the choice of fill, everything we needed to have a really, really great sleeping bag. And there was only one thing left and that was a super light option. Healthsport already has an international reputation when it comes to super light tents and it just made perfect sense to have a complementary product in the form of a sleeping bag that was also super light. It's a really interesting design challenge when you're looking at a super light product, especially for Hellsport, because we want to have that underlying promise of durability. Now we use Pertex fabrics in the Rago and Superlight and it, they're, they're beautiful fabrics, they're absolutely beautiful. They're consistent quality. Now it has to be light, but it also has to last. So we chose a perfect balance of lightweight and abrasion resistance and tear strength. And we knew that if we chose the right fabric from the Pertex range, we would have that, that sweet spot, that very, very comfortable next to skinned you could have the lightweight and the low pack volume, which gives you the super light, but also it's going to last you for years and years and just keep you comfortable and warm no matter where you are. Okay, we had the fabric sorted, we decided on the fabric, we've done all the testing. The next thing was, how are we going to use it? Now, a lot of different brands will add, they have many different marketing stories, they'll, they'll tell the tales of how they do um, the baffling and the construction and very, very complex baffle shapes. You'll have this shape here and that shape here and all these interlocking baffles. Now that's great, but it adds a lot of extra complexity. It adds a lot of extra um, packed volume because every time you add another baffle, you add another little bit of fabric and it has to be sewn in there. It has to be filled exactly right. It has to be shaped and patterned. Um, how about just keeping it simple? How about just saying, I could add all this extra baffling, I could add all this extra shape and to have a nice story, but the end result is gonna be the same. What would you rather have? Now, the, the warmth comes from the down. It comes from how much down you put in it and where the down is sitting. So just put in the right amount of down, keep the construction simple, and you reduce the complexity of the bag, the packed volume, the weight and the cost because every time you add another little bit of detail into that bag somebody's got to make it and somebody's got to make sure it's been made correctly and that just adds and it's cost you don't need to be spending. A simple construction is perfect, it's all you need. We could add all these multiple baffles, we found it made absolutely no difference and that was proved not by this is what we think. We looked at the thermal images, we looked at the test results to the EN standards and it was proven. A simple bag with a simple construction, nicely placed down is all you need. So what things can you change? There are two things that we decided we could make an improvement on with the Rago Superlight. The first one was the internal heat collar. Now on the Rago it's a two-piece heat collar. It's very, very well shaped, it has all the fill you need, it's easy to adjust. We thought we can actually we can actually refine this even more for the super light. So we combined it into a shaped one-piece collar that forms around your neck and over your chest. And even though there is a draw cord for adjustment, you don't really need it. It's almost like it fits like an internal jacket collar. It just sits there and does its job and it works really, really well. It's lighter, it's simpler, it's more comfortable and just as warm. I'd almost go so far as to say it's, it's warmer for what you get. It's a brilliant little design. The second thing we did was modify the Velcro flap on the outside that covers the zip. We thought, actually, for a super light bag, do you need it? The answer was no. So we just took it away and we replaced it with a soft, simple flap which folds over the top of the zip when it's closed it keeps it uh, keeps the end of the zip away from your face when you're sleeping and it just flips over automatically it, it works really really well the anti-snag zip construction is exactly the same in Rago we found that to be so successful we've just copied it across but we've made it a little bit lighter so 
if you look at the detailing on the zips and the detailing on the flap and the collar, you can see those extra small things that add to make it a simpler product and lighter, more compact, just as warm. And the thing that makes a sleeping bag warm is the loft, the degree of loft. So how thick, how much, how much down is between you and the outside world? And it's how much down you put in it that gives it that loft. Now, up to 650 fill power, around about, duck is perfectly fine, which is why we chose it for Rago. But if you want to go higher, if you want to have a bag which is lighter for the same warmth, the only way you can do that is to get a 700, 750, 800 fill power bag, 800 fill power down, um, and stick it inside. And the only bird that'll give you 800 fill power reliably is goose. That's the only reason you choose it. But that's why we chose it for Super Life. Okay, I've gone through all the different details that we thought about and developed for the Rago Super Light. The end result is right in front of us. It's a much smaller bag, much more compact. Both the Rago and the Rago Superlight are great bags. They'll keep you warm and they're comfortable and they'll last for years. And the difference really is, what is your priority? Is it lightweight? And ultimately, you get what you pay for. So the Superlight is a more expensive bag and what you get for your money, what you get for that, is lighter, much more compact, more comfortable. They're both great bags. The choice is yours.